Hello, I am Harim Jung. I major in optics and photonics at Yonsei University. Let me start my second oral presentation. There are six chapters. At first, I will explain basic diffraction theory and I will explain MATLAB code for Fresnel diffraction with angular spectrum method. And then I will show you movie of some Fresnel diffraction. Similarly, I will explain Fraunhofer diffraction and show you simulation movie of Fraunhofer diffraction with various apertures. At last, there are some references. We can obtain Fresnel diffraction integral by simplifying Huygens Fresnel principle with binomial expansion for R01. Of course, there are some assumptions, assumptions to binomial expansion like g is much larger than x minus t and y minus eta. And then we can get this Fresnel diffraction integral that u cos eta is the amplitude of electromagnetic wave in the aperture plane, whether u x y is the amplitude of wave in the image plane. So if we know all information of aperture plane, we can calculate amplitude of wave in the image plane. Fresnel diffraction integral is seen to be a convolution of u cos eta and h, where h is this. By convolution theorem, the Fourier transformation of convolution between u and h is product between Fourier transformation of each u and h. So by inverse Fourier transformation of this, we can figure out u x y. Amplitude of u can be represented in frequency domain by Fourier transformation and the result is a f x f y. Of course, u x y is inverse Fourier transformation of a, and f x equal x over lambda z and f y equal y over lambda z. So we can replace f x and f y with alpha over lambda and beta over lambda, where alpha and beta is direction cosine and then we can get equation 3.63 this is called the angular spectrum of disturbance ux y 0 and similarly ux y z can be written like this by using alpha and beta if we put equation 3.65 into elementary equation a must satisfy the differential equation and the elementary solution of the differential equation is equation 3.66. And finally, put this equation into equation 3.65, we can get equation 3.69. And this is angular spectrum method. What we have to do is the Fourier transformation of aperture U and multiply transfer function and finally inverse Fourier transformation of whole equation and then we can get amplitude information of image space this process is angular spectrum method of diffraction theory final for diffraction is come from one uh, Fresnel integral equation 4.17 is Fresnel integral if z is much larger than k dot cos square plus eta square over 2 then quadratic phase factor goes 1 and then Fresnel integral becomes this this is Fraunhofer diffraction Diffra Fraunhofer diffraction is proportional to Fourier transformation of u cos eta so we can calculate diffraction pattern by using Fourier transformation easily this MATLAB code is the angular spectrum method for diffraction. First part is setting variables and second part is making XY plane for calculation. And third part is making apertures. I made cross apertures at this time by overlap two rectangular apertures and using imbinarized function provided by MATLAB. The imbinarized function is advantageous in creating apertures 
because it makes the image binary. And last part is calculation of finite integral by using angular spectral method. To find out uxy product Fourier transformation of aperture and transfer function h and do the inverse Fourier transformation of that, we can find out diffraction pattern. And this code is another example of angular spectral method. This time I used the aperture similar to Fresnel lens. I made several concentric circular apertures and put the phase delay values in between circular apertures. The second part, is, part of this code is making Fresnel lens. The first and third part are setting variables and plane as before. The first part of this page is setting transfer function by using if sentence. And the second part is calculation diffraction pattern by using angular spectral method. And the last part is displaying, displaying this diffraction patterns. This is final diffraction of cross aperture. We can see diffraction pattern changes as final number increases. The first part is more like the final for diffraction pattern and the later it turns into the final diffraction patterns. This is a final lens aperture that I explained in chapter 2. There are several concentric circular apertures and the phase delay values in between circular apertures. Let's see the fraction pattern as, as distance between aperture and image plane increases. This is metallic code for front of diffraction simulation. The first part is getting movie of aperture. The second part is the process of creating an aperture. And third part, uh, calculation of front of diffraction by 2D Fourier transformation of aperture. And last part is saving images and making movie. It is a uh, aperture of two circle moving in opposite directions. We can see that diffraction patterns become tighter as the circle moves away and we can also see that the overall diffraction patterns shrinks as the circle grows. This aperture is based on a video taken from YouTube. I refer to introduction to Fury Optics, Internet, MATLAB help, and lecture note to our PPT of Fury Optics lecture. And also, I refer code and presentations of other students. Thank you for watching.